Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com and today I want to show you Jet Search. Jet Search is a plugin by Crocoblock that you can use with either Elementor Pro or the free version of Elementor. It works with either one, but you do have to use Elementor. Now, Jet Search comes with a lot of advanced options, a lot of customization options. So if you're looking for a search plugin for your website, this is one that you, you should definitely, definitely, definitely check out. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll take you through a review and a tutorial of Jet Search by Crocoblock. So let's start by taking a look at your options for buying Jet Search. So as you see here, for a single site, it's $19 per year. For unlimited websites, it's $39 a year. Then you can also buy it in, in a set with other plugins that work with Elementor for $80 a year. And like all Crocoblock plugins, this does come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. By the way, if you are interested in buying Jet Search, I will put my affiliate link in the description below. I do always appreciate it when people buy via my affiliate link. So let me now switch over and I will take you through a demonstration of what you can do with Jet Search. So here I am on my About Me page, which I'll use for demonstration purposes for the Jet Search widget. Now, obviously, if you have access to this, you can put this wherever you want. You can put it on your pages, you can put it on your blog post. If you have access to editing your header, you can put it up here. If you have access to editing your footer, you can put it down here. You know, you can put it all over your website. It's an Elementor widget, and so you know you can put it wherever you want. So let's come over here and just type in search and drop this in here. And that's how it looks when you first drop it in your website. Of course, as I've said at the beginning, there are a lot of customization options for this. But let's take a look and see how this works. So I'm just going to type in the word solopreneur. And you can see right when I start typing, it is already working and generating results. And you can see here I get 15 results. First page shows about seven or eight of them. I can click there to see more of them. And then let me just update this here come over here type this back in over here and if i want to see all results i just click there and it's going to show me all the results like that and by the way some of these don't show images because i don't have images on those particular pages that's not an error it's just that I haven't set images for those pages, but that's how it works out of the box. Well, let's now take a look at some of the customization options that you get with Jet Search. By the way, Jet Search has a lot of customization options, so I'm not going to be able to go into detail on each and every one of them. I will give you an overview of all the different customization options, but if you want more information, they do have a knowledge base here on their website. You can see they've got uh, Jet Search appearance customization, search results settings, and search settings so a lot of information here and also if you have any questions about what you can and can't do with jet search please let me know i'm always willing to answer questions as best as i can uh, so let's take a look now at what you can customize within jet search so the first thing here on the search form you can put an icon if you want to which will put an icon right here next to the word search you can change this placeholder text so it doesn't have to say search you can have it say what you want it to say here you can turn this on or off, the submit button. So if I turn that off, it goes away. I can also put a label on that by typing words in there. I can change this icon. I can show a category list. So if you have different categories of posts, for example, you see now I have that. And then they can search within various categories if they want to do that. Uh, and here you've got, uh, actually you've got categories, tags, and formats. And then you can write placeholder text there. So you have that option. And then uh, here you've got an option for responsive form on mobile, which you would more than likely want to turn on. You definitely want things to look responsive on mobile. So those are the options for the search form itself. Now in terms of the search query, first you have this option to search by the current query. So you can turn on or off. It says here, uh, use for archive templates. So if you want people to search within archive templates, it looks like this is what you turn on. This doesn't actually show up anywhere in the documentation. So this must be a newer feature. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how it works. As you saw for me, everything worked fine with this turned off. So you might wanna try that first. Here you can choose the source if you want, either posts or pages if you wanna make it specific, or you can just leave it turned off if you want people to be able to search throughout your whole website. You also have the option to include and exclude terms. 
allow people to search in custom fields, uh, set up a sentence search. Here you can uh, set the result order. Relevance is probably the most important thing you'd want, or probably the one you'd want to choose, but you might want to choose something like date or last modified, uh, random, you know, however you want to set it up, you can choose whatever you want. And then you can make it as ascending or descending. Here you set the number of posts per pages, so uh, how many results will show up in one search page, and then the total number of search results that you want to show up is uh, you can set right there. So in terms of the results area, which is what pops up when somebody starts typing in a search term, you've got a lot of options here. So, so first of all, you can set the results area width by search form, by input box and categories list, or you can set a custom width. You can show the post thumbnail if you want to, or you can turn that off. If you have it turned on, you can choose a thumbnail size. You can also set a placeholder for posts or pages that don't have their own thumbnail. You can choose the post content source. So you have either post content, post excerpt, or a custom field. Here you can set the post content length, how many characters you want to show up. If you have products, if people are searching on products within your website, you can show the product price, show the product rating. Here you can show the results counter, so how many results are there, and you can change the text if you want to do that. Here you can sh uh, the thing that says show all results, you can turn that on or off or modify the text. And then finally, for navigating among the results, you can either do bullet pagination or number pagination. So you can hide it, show it in header, show it in footer, show it in, show in header and footer. Same thing with number pagination if you prefer to use that. You can also set up navigation arrows and where to put them, and then choose whatever sort of arrow type that you want. So a lot of options here in terms of how the results show when somebody starts typing in a search term within the search box. So in terms of custom fields, you have the option to show meta before or after the title. If you want, you can turn that on. And then here you can set before or after and set a meta fields list. And the same thing here, show it before or after content, and you'll have the same options for that. And then for notifications, you can set a, you can edit the notification for negative search results and edit the notification for technical error. Now, those are the options you have for setting up the search form, the search query, the results area, etc. But you can also style everything. So if I click here, you're going to see style options for the search form, the input field, the submit button, results area, results items, custom fields, results counter, all results button, navigation arrows, notifications, and the spinner. So you have a lot of customization options here, you know, and this is, I'm not going to go, again, I'm not going to go through these in detail because this will be typical for what you see for, um, for Elementor, you know, background colors, black shadows, padding, border types, border radius, etc. If there's text, you know, obviously have option, uh, you'll obviously have access to editing the typography, uh, etc. Text color, icon color, background color, border color, you know, just a ton of customization options to make this look the way you want, both in terms of what appears on your website here in the search box, but then also, you know, when somebody searches for results, you can customize the look of those results and, you know, just really customize this whole thing. So I think overall, this is a really, really great plugin. You know, if you uh, need a search plugin on your website, this is one I would definitely recommend taking a look at. As you can see, there's a lot that you can do with this plugin, and really there are a lot of customization options. This works really quickly, right? Again, you saw as I start typing here, you get results immediately. Boom, right there. I, I didn't even have to type in the full word. I'm already getting, already getting results. Uh, it just it works very quickly. Uh, you get a nice presentation here in terms of the, re terms of the results and lots of customization options. So that is my review and demo of Jet Search by Clock, Crackleblock for Elementor. Again, any questions, please let me know. I'm always willing to answer questions as best as, as, best as I can. Again, I will also put my affiliate link in the video description below. If you do decide to buy Jet Search, I always appreciate it when people buy via my affiliate link. It gives me a little bit of money. It allows me to continue to create 100% free content. Finally, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing three or four videos every week for the rest of this year, probably into 2021. I've got a lot of videos coming out on Elementor itself, as well as uh, more Crocoblock videos. I think this is number six or seven 
Uh, but I've got, I'm going to try to do, you know, at least one a month uh, for different Crackle Block videos. So if that's something you're interested, interested in, uh, you know, and also just more general business advice, etc. So a lot of videos coming out for the rest of the year. So that's it. I hope this video was of value to, to you and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.